Hi everyone, I'm Bruce Schwartz. Thanks for stopping by, for connecting, supporting, for commenting, guys, taking part in this beautiful, these beautiful findings I've been finding on the moon. We're looking in x-ray processing, my technique. Look at what we're looking at. It's the virtual space station, right? I thought myself for the longest time, did the space station exist or not? I hadn't shown it in this with this filtering processing. Now, obviously, the next video won't be about the space station, but I have done these past. Uh, this is, would be the third video. Um, well, just a short part, a couple of minutes, two or three minutes to talk about the space station. Why not, right? Uh, I mean, I've never caught in it before. Uh, probably did, obviously. Everyone does, but we don't see it. And people are telling me, why does it look like a shadow? Well, it really does look like a shadow and the reason for that my friends is because it's over the illuminated moon we're seeing it the same way we see the bloody ufos a shadow so if it's off of the moon i would have seen it i would have only seen a light but here's the thing the space station looks close as heck doesn't it Maybe it's because it had to move over, you know, not to hit into the moon for it to actually fit between the earth and the moon. Hey, can't help but wonder, could the moon be closer? you damn right it must be closer. Anyways, it looks like that. Hard to believe that at 400,000 kilometers away, um, yeah, that I could see the surface. Here we could see a beautiful surface. It's You know what's missing in this? is for a UFO to have gone by. Then we would have been able to see the space station, the structures, and the UFO at the same time. And then the colors, I could have, I could have just put it natural to show the colors because these are all myths, right? Even the space station is a part myth, I think. I mean, there's many people that don't believe that the space station exists. You know, what they show us it doesn't mean that's what went on. Maybe they're showing, just like the landings, it doesn't mean we saw the landings directly on the moon maybe there was no landings or maybe they were able to get up there secret mission some kind here flipped around the space station uh, real size and that's the way it would have showed up on my telescope what's this that is an overall green surface with purple objects and objects of other colors on top what looks like pathways and roads colorful surface all right so the space station is going over the moon, it's, or it's very close to the moon. You can't say it isn't, I'll tell you what, it's 350 kilometers closer than we are, that's for sure. So could the space station analyze the surface of the moon? Freaking right they can. They're right on it, right? Bring a telescope up to the space station. <laughs> wow, okay. Look at the hole here on the bottom. The levels are hard to see, and you see an overall flat surface with that bloody gray moon that most people show. Well, look at the bottom here on the left, how it is a major descending hole that descends thousands of feet into the ground. There are many areas like this on the surface of the moon where, um, you know, smoke or haze or clouds covers the hole so that we can't see inside. How many other holes are under all this bloody cloud cover that we're seeing on the surface? It really is a cloud cover, I'm telling you. Or it's a smoke, you know. Here in x-ray, we're gonna see it. I wanna get in because I wanna see the panels. You see, these panels are turning, right? So obviously, I guess they're solar panels. I'm not an expert. They must be following the sun, right? Well, you could actually see lights on top of the, the space station look at it and you could see them blinking lights that are placed along the center piece and uh it's sparkling you're getting sparkles around it so if there was think of this if there was actually a um a space station walk we would not see uh, the astronauts obviously but if a soyuz spacecraft a rocket and something was sent up to the space station well of course we'd see some type of lights or 
interaction around the space station or maybe a tiny little dot of a light going to the space station. So we got to stop saying and believing that we can't see anything because everyone says, oh, you can't see this, you can't see that. Obviously, no, we're probably not going to see a flag on the surface, but the space station, damn right, we're going to see it. Close-ups on the moon, like really close, like disturbing close, like troll bothering close. <laughs> the trolls don't like it. It's too blurry for them. It's not a blur. There's an atmosphere on the surface of the moon, and that is what is causing all the fuss. But hang on. We're talking about other things like um, disturbances that can bother us. Well, there's dusts some kind of a Mr. Haze on the surface. And I can't help but say that there is a definite, so long me, a definite cloud cover on the surface. I've showed it in the past few videos. Check it out, guys. Everything's, everything happens on this beautiful, wonderful moon. We're gonna get in really close this video. And the next few videos too, I wanna really, really get in close. We're seeing uh, the color. This is Mare Serenitatis. We're right over top of it. I want you guys to see all the 90 degree angles and the surface color. We really are looking at something that looks like forests. Come on. And there's a couple of clearings in this video, slow motion and really panned up close that we're going to see. I mean, it looks like it doesn't look like we are. We are through the veil at certain points. And there's certain areas where I believe there are gaps in the veil, whatever that veil may be, natural or not, camouflage or not. What am I talking about? The veil, those just arriving. I'm shooting out words, I'm sorry. The veil over the moon. What is hiding us from seeing uh, the surface? Um, contributed to that. We're talking about oscillation. We're talking about the white reflective surface. And all people do in general is we fight about what it is. It's the sun. No, it's not the sun that's reflecting. It's that. No, it's an illumination. The moon isn't supposed to be illuminated. First of all, it's not an illuminated celestial object, right? Right. So here, Plato Crater color inside of Plato Crater, the green overall surface, the purplish, hazy, atmospherish uh, colors intertwining over top of every area of the moon when you zoom in close. And we see these objects that are fabricated. They're built at the back and bumps side by side. Nobody talks about how could craters be lined up side by side. They are not craters, nor are they bumps. Look at the detail. This is Mare Crisium, the Crisium Basin. Look at all the objects around it that I always show in x-ray that people go, there's nothing there. Look at the surface of Mare Crisium. It's not flat at all. Everyone says it's flat. Look at all the objects inside of Mare Crisium. It would be impossible to land there no matter how big you are. Look at everything crossing paths with one another. And the greenery, bottom left as we're Approaching, look at Mons Argeus. Uh, there was an Apollo moon landing there. I've showed it to you all the area. And now we're seeing Mons Argeus, um, oh, Proclus Crater, that bright crater over to the right, just under Mare Crisium, right here. So this is Mons Argeus. Mare Serenitatis to the left. I want you to see the surface right here of Mare Serenitatis. The greenery. I mean it, guys. We're looking at green valley-like vegetated areas so thanks for stopping by everyone i'll get some music up for you all some nice just it's just an extra because it relaxes me while i watch the surface i mean no music is boring and sometimes hearing my yakking mouth is also boring but guys i have to talk sometimes to help you guys see what i'm seeing obviously it's not that uh you know we have different um, views of the surface when we're looking. Look at Mare Serenitatis, the overlapping um, straight paths that we see, you know, and some of them are elevated off of the surface. How can ejecta, um, what is ejecta? It's the trail of lava, of course, the flow that they say, all these lines are from volcanoes and, uh, sorry, from meteors having crashed into the moon. I don't know. I beg to differ. Um, the next coming weeks and the next coming moon phases, of course, the cold weather is an advantage here in Canada. No bugs, 
which it's never bothered me before, but it seems to bother people every time I see a UFO. They think that it's bugs. See the color that we're looking at? Mare serenitatis. Green surface, browns, greens, purples, and then you get into this reds, yellows, all the colors, all the colors of the color wheel. They are all there on the surface. Clouds over top or hazes and hazes on the surface. Then hold on, you could have that veil, um, you know, very holographic like looking surface always oscillating, which I do believe is the atmosphere. I'm telling you guys, the atmosphere on the surface of the moon is the only thing that's oscillating. Think of it, guys. When we go off the edge, it stops oscillating. I've never seen another celestial object oscillate like this. I've caught many. So if only the moon is oscillating, well, therefore, it's the atmosphere or whatever magnetic force, veil, camo, force field that's around the moon that is oscillating. It's wave field, the wave fields, even the one Crow 777 caught. It's a wave field. Something is being created, pushed out. They look like shock waves. Guys, I showed the space station one more time because do you understand what raw footage is? We can always represent uh, it again in a different way. And that's why I changed the filtering. I actually added filtering to it. See the beautiful colors of the surface? that they are all natural and you could see it's not oscillating chromatic aberration. That's totally stupid. And most of you know that. So here's some music with some amazing close-ups of Clavius Creator. We'll pan over this one here, guys, and then we're gonna zoom in five more times to Clavius Creator. But we always think that we're dead on. No, we're not. It, the moon looks close, right? Depending on the space station that we just caught, but then again, when zooming in, it's like it's always further out. Very odd. A definite, straight, long structure at the back of Clavius Crater that we're gonna see in stunning detail. This is beautiful detail in color. Inger Lee Strom. Thank you so much for your generous donations and I'm looking forward to interact with you in the comment section. Welcome to the community. 